you. Uh, let's get straight to it. Can you deliver a majority of Democrats? Well, good morning, Margaret. I do look forward to uh, the White House briefing that's going to take place later on this afternoon uh, with the House Democratic Caucus. We'll be able to have a robust discussion. But let me say this. Uh, President Biden uh, has delivered a result that avoids a catastrophic default that prevents us from our economy crashing uh, and stops the extreme MAGA Republicans from triggering a job-killing recession, which, as we've seen over the last week or two, increasingly mm -hmm. seemed to have been a position that they were taking for political reasons. Okay, well, we'll only avoid a default if you can get the votes to get it through. Speaker McCarthy predicted this morning he can get a majority of Republicans. He says some Democrats he thinks will say that. And how do you convince Democrats? I have no idea what he's talking about, particularly because uh, I have not been able to review the actual legislative text. All that we've reached is an agreement in principle. Now, what I've consistently said... Did you even talk to him? Uh, both privately... I talked to him yesterday afternoon. Okay. Uh, what I haven't talked to him since that point in time. What I've consistently said, however, privately and publicly, was that the extreme MAGA Republican negotiating position and that the extreme bill that they p passed on April 26th, the Default on America Act, contained nothing that was consistent with democratic values or mm -hmm. American values. And it was unreasonable to think that that negotiating position right. was going to be able to result in a resolution that would make sense for the American people when he understood and everyone understood uh, that a bipartisan resolution was the only way forward to okay. avoid a catastrophic default. Uh, okay. And that's a bill that is going nowhere. In terms of the one that was or is being written as we speak, um, the head of the Progressive Caucus, Pramila Jayapal, said on CNN this morning, you need to worry about the left flank of the party. She has 102 members in that caucus. How many Democratic defections do you expect? Well, I've had several conversations <clears throat> with Pramila Jayapal over the last several uh, days, and we'll continue to do so. And I expect that she'll be part of uh, the caucus uh, briefing that takes place later on today. Here's what I can say, uh, is that the agreement that was reached in principle by President Biden does several important things. In addition to avoiding a devastating default that would hurt everyday Americans, it protects Social Security. It yeah. protects Medicare. It protects Medicaid. It protects veterans. It protects the American people. She's from the concerned type about of environmental spending cuts, environmental policy were, changes, on, and it, food stamps. It protects. The, hold, hold, hold on, I'll get to that. It protects the American people from the types of devastating spending cuts that were proposed by Republicans in their Default on America Act. Those are incredibly significant steps forward. Now, right. in terms of the permitting issue. I haven't had the opportunity, nor have any of us had the opportunity to review uh, what the proposed language may ultimately be uh, in terms of the permitting situation. In terms of SNAP, as I understand it, and again, we'll have the opportunity to review that language mm -hmm. in a few hours when it is released, uh, but as I understand it, it will actually result in an expansion of eligibility for people like veterans and the homeless. Uh, because of changes made to exemptions uh, as a result of what will be in this agreement in terms of the original 1996 law that was passed. Well, ac according to the White House, it's going to relax work requirements for veterans and homeless people, but it still pushes up the age uh, to 54 from 49. Are you implying, do you mean to say here that the White House hasn't kept you fully briefed on the details? Uh, the White House has, of course, kept all of us fully briefed okay. every step of the way. However, uh, I do think that, as the White House has indicated, this is only an agreement in principle. Right. There will not be a final agreement until we all are able to review the actual legislative text. Okay. The White House is still calling this a budget.